Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Wanted to take a few minutes to do a quick update. Uh, usually I always try to make sure I had really good content, like learning and stuff, but there's just so many of you that want to hear how I'm doing and follow along and see how I'm doing, so I'm going to keep doing that. So the plan right now um, is I'm in the middle of radiation. So I had chemo last week, Tuesday. Uh, I did an update on Friday, I think. I was extremely sick. Um, I was falling. I forgot to put in, in the update. I had major pain in my abdomen. I, f I forgot and I had extreme bloating, but I forgot to put in the update. I couldn't feel from my knees to my feet and I was falling um, and I was incontinent at one point in the middle of the night. It was really embarrassing. Um, losing the feeling from my knees to my toes was horrible. Couldn't walk anywhere. It was very interesting. Anyhow, I got through it, and then I had radiation on Friday, radiation Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, chemo on Tuesday. That's the plan over the next little bit going forward here. Uh, so it looks like Disney's going to be the second week of November, and that's thanks to you guys, like my GoFundMe. I've spent all my money from GoFundMe on treatments, and I've gone in debt to sell off personal assets to keep paying for treatments. And you guys came through on the GoFundMe and have donated a bunch of little small donations that all added up to make make this Disney trip even possible. Um, so we're gonna we got it we got the resort that we want to go to picked out. We got the dates. We are thinking the second week of November, and it's all because of you guys. I just can't tell you how much it means to me. Like to be able after going through the last year and a half, paying all this money out in treatment, selling off personal assets, and just this the love and support the past three weeks to help get help me do this has just been unreal. You guys have no idea. I just, I'm mind blown. Uh, link for my GoFundMe is in the description below. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, anyhow, so yeah, I guess how I was feeling now. Now I'm feeling better, except for the radiation now is giving me some side effects. Side effects just seem to be like, I almost feel like hungover. You know when you wake up and you're hungover and you're kind of like, just Bleh. your brain doesn't work and you're just trying to get through the day and you're extremely fatigued? That's how I feel. It's, it's like that. It's not like that at all, but it's the closest thing I got to explain it. I'm um, going through these radiation cycles. So in terms of press pulse, I'm going to resume press pulse. I can't right now because I either have the chemo bottle on or I got Monday, Wednesday, Friday irradiation. So I haven't been doing any press pulse. I'm going to resume press pulse um, and then coming up after the Disney trip. The Disney trip's more important. I just got to get my kids there. Every kid needs to see Disney. So um, that's taking priority. Um, will press pulse work with the radiation and the chemo that I'm on? Well, I'm gonna. It's gonna be in every other week. I'm gonna have to build a new schedule. Well, some of the things I'm thinking about changing, and I'm gonna have a few conversations with a few other doctors and researchers about this that I have relationships with. But what I'm thinking of doing is doing one week of chemo because I got the chemo bag on. I can't do H bot, so there's, there's no need. To, there's no ability to do press pulse. So every other week I'll be doing H bot. My week off I'll be doing H bot with press pulse. H bot I think will really help me recover from the radiation. The radiation narcosis or narcosis. I think it's called that radiation narcosis narcosis that's actually covered by the insurance companies so um, once I'm done this this radiation I'm going to ask for a referral because then I get OHIP coverage finally for HBOT so um, that's going to be special guys um, for everybody out there that's had radiation and fighting cancer that's right you can get HBOT covered through insurance so your group insurance your government insurance, in my case, it would be OHIP, my government insurance. You got full-blown coverage, so that's amazing. Um, when I first started, I was paying it all out of pocket. And you guys know how much money that is, 200 bucks a session. Some places even more. It's crazy expensive, so I'm pretty pumped for this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Disney. I really am. So Thursday, we got some interviews coming up. That's another thing. Uh, we got... 
uh, frequency healing podcast coming up and also a special guest coming up that I'm really excited to announce. Uh, I really hope you guys can watch those videos for the support for the algorithms. They're going to be very intellectual. Um, one of them is going to be more story, so it should be really good. The other one's going to be more fact-based and like treatment based. I've started doing some um, frequency healing and it's actually, I wasn't really sold on it. But when I'm doing it now, I can definitely feel something's happening. So we'll talk all about it in the podcast. I don't, I'm hope you, I've got a lot to learn on it. I didn't really research it too much. So you guys can learn with me. It's a great opportunity. We can learn together and grow together. If anybody knows a little bit about frequency healing and has some questions they'd like answered ahead of time, please email me your questions. I don't, I don't know anything about it really, but frequency healing and may, and also rife therapy. If anybody has any questions about Rife therapy, also email me about that and I'll make sure that I get to ask those questions because I don't know much about it. We're all going to learn together. Um, So yeah, what else is going on here? Not much else. Oh, it's my anniversary. So on the weekend, me and my wife are trying to get away to a Laura Gorge. Um, when I started this podcast thing, I bought a camera, a Canon R50, which is actually a reasonably good camera. Um, so I'm really excited because the Laura Gorge, we're going to go take pictures, me and my wife. She already had a Canon camera before, so we should get our own camera. And I bought a lens for it um the back when I got it and so I have a good lens and I got a decently good camera and so I'm going to take some pictures I want to record everything as we go along here just to document what I did like pictures of my wife and I like if I when I don't make it here which is good is a reasonable outcome I mean we're gonna have I want my wife to have these pictures to look back upon and see and I want everybody to see how hard I tried I want my kids to say anything. I want my kids to know that <clears throat> daddy didn't not do everything he could he did everything he could do to try to beat this horrible disease called cancer and I want everybody to say look at me as a role model like when you're down and out you can keep fighting and keep going and just keep trying things and it's like things don't always work out the first time and that's okay so when I go back to press pulse I'm going to change my administration of some of the supplements that I was taking we'll call it supplements and for my d-days the administration is going to be changed just because I my cancer kept growing doesn't mean that the press pulse wasn't working it just means that the cancer was growing faster than the press pulse could work and if I wasn't on press pulse imagine how much worse it could have been that's one thing to keep in mind but I got to obviously change how I'm doing it so I, I believe now at this point I'm going back to press pulse and I'm going to adjust my administration there's things that you can take that I was taking orally on D-Days before I got into hyperbaric oxygen, but I think I'm going to switch it up to subcontinuous, sub-Q. So that, that's going to be a big game changer. So and I want I want everybody to know that. Like, okay, he kept going. He kept going. I, want, I don't want to be known when I don't make it eventually. I don't want my kids to go, oh, daddy didn't try. Daddy didn't do everything he possibly could. No, I want to be known as the guy that kept going and kept trying everything I can. And if you're watching this and you're fighting cancer and you're really struggling, and you're wondering why you're doing it, that's why. That's why. You want to be known as the person that tried everything. Everything. Leave nothing on the table. And when I say try everything, I mean you try chemo, you try radiation. Yeah, it could be be a bad decision. You're going to make bad decisions. Professor Seafried says that sometimes radiation can turn the cancer against you. And yeah, it can happen. But millions of people, radiation has cured them too. So why not give it a try? I I know that it may be a risk, but guess what? Not doing it and just doing press pulse alone isn't going to work. We already know that. So give it a try. And when it comes to administration, be willing to try everything. Leave no stone unturned. And give it everything you got. You just keep on going. Will it work for you? I don't know. I don't know. I can't promise you it will, but I promise you that at least you tried. So that's why you do the chemo and feel shitty and sick. Because it works for some people. And you do it to try to hope that it works for you. You do all the extra things on top of that immediately. Full press balls. 
Anyhow, guys, that's all I really have for you today. I got two podcasts coming. I'm going to be doing on Thursday. I don't know which one I'll publish first, but Frequency Healing is going to be one, and a special guest is going to be the other. Hopefully, i got to reach out to them to confirm. If not, that one will be coming out shortly. Anyhow, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. A lot of people viewing my videos aren't subscribing, so please make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye now.